coming up next. It's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. All right, here he is for my money. Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight. Maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with big differences in height and reach. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting at Lyon, France, Goliath. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out there. Underway. We've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back in range. Head kick attempt. It's blocked. Beautiful head kick. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that job. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. 
Oh, you can hear the whack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Good work blocking the knee. What a punch. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Oh, big knee. Oh! Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Just missed with the left there. Oh, huge block. Nice kick. Oh, big left hook there. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Look at him dig that body shot right up to his opponent's third. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, Chad. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Great punch. Kick to the body by Shaw. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush. And the best fighters in the world are those who make adjustments. He hasn't made many so far. Yes, he needs to make adjustments. So, one thing you can do is close the distance. Don't give him space to leg kick you over and over again. Get close. Fight for the clinch. Take that leg kick away by managing the distance. Yeah, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and punches. He's doing a great job. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. One of the most important strikes from the clinch is this big body shot. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. Telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I gotta be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a Telestrator <laughs> into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, 
right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? She lands a switch knee. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Another knee landed by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy when it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Single collar tie now. Watch knees to the body. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Choi's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guys to try to break this immediately. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big punch from the clinch. Outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He has Oh! Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice head kick. Good punch. Still nice body kick lands. Ooh. Got him to flinch once again. Dealing with that. Ooh, diving punch lands. Now he's going to try to attack Kimura here. it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year near perfect execution tonight. All right, Bruce Buffer Ladies has the official decision. Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 52 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, the All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight. But he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just that.